Hello and welcome! My name is Ty Dandridge-Avancio and I am the curator for Wasegaman Community Arts. This season, as I'm sure many of you know, is a little different. The video you're about to see is one of many efforts on part of the gallery to continue presenting works by talented artists to the public while ensuring their safety as well as the safety of our staff and visitors. Today, I had the privilege of speaking with Mona Maxfield, an interdisciplinary artist from Winnipeg, Manitoba. She works with acrylic on wood to create scenic landscapes of glassy lakes and lush marshlands inspired by summers spent in White Shell Provincial Park. She is one of two artists featured as part of our exhibition teaser, which gives viewers a sneak peek into exhibitions coming this year as well as the next. Be sure to keep a lookout for Maxfield's full exhibition, which will be premiering in the summer of 2021. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. So, hi, Mona. Thank you so much for meeting me over Skype. How are you? Good. Thank you. Fabulous. So, well, I'll just jump right in with the first question. Can you tell us a bit about yourself and how you got started as an artist? Sure. I am uh, married to Chris Maxfield. We have two grown daughters. Um, I was raised in Winnipeg, but I spent my summers in the white shell at my parents' cottage, which was quite remote uh, because you could only get there by plane or by train. There were no roads, no running water, no electricity. So it was quite remote. And uh, how I got started as an artist was I always loved to draw. And then when I found that I had some more free time for myself, I decided to devote my time into doing more of that. And I also liked to sculpt. And uh, then I started getting into a painting. And um, just been, or my whole household is, um, my husband and my daughters are all artists. So we had a very creative household. So it sort of brings in the inner artist, brings out the inner artist in you. And that's how I got started. So um, the second question, what do you think viewers should know that gives important insight into your work or your artistic practice? practice? Well, um, be because I spent my summers at Winnetoba and it was wilderness area, I did a lot of hiking, canoeing, and most of the lakes behind where our cottage was, was is deemed wilderness area. So we really spent a lot of time out in the wilderness so I could capture the environment and, and that's how I express myself seeing that and spending time with that into my paintings. Okay. Um, can I ask, like, how, um, I guess, a stretch of land comes to be deemed, like, a wilderness area? Um, I'm not really sure. I know um, originally when the cottages were built, I guess the parks branch decides whether or not it's um, to be more opened in other lakes and other areas. And uh, so it's always been wilderness behind us. At one time, the Parks Branch said that they were wanting to know if we wanted motorboats on the back lake, and everybody voted against no, against it, just said no. So that also kept it wilderness as well. But there's many, many lakes that you can portage. It's actually along the Manterio Trail that you can go to. So you can walk into the lake as well. It, you start at Caddy Lake and take the Manchario Trail and walk in it, which is about somewhere between 10 and 15 kilometers uh, walk, which is, it's rough walk, <laughs> but it's interesting. So, and other than that, you had to take the train to get there or you could fly in. Oh, so, wow. it wasn't easy to get to. So, that's a lot of like un, untouched kind of beauty to yes. improve your practice. A good description of it, yes. <laughs> I'm known for that sometimes. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not, I'm lying. Um, so what's the current direction of your artistic practice and like what themes, ideas, techniques, or mediums are you interested in exploring? Well, I'm going to continue on with my acrylics. And actually I do acrylic on board. I do a little bit of canvas, but mostly on board. And I would like to get into oils and even pastels or charcoal drawing. 
And I'd also love to learn how to paint wild animals to incorporate into some of my paintings. I would love to do that. But I'm going to continue with the acrylics and with my sculpting. Very nice. Yeah, the wild animals, I, I definitely, I'm in my practice too working on uh, trying to get that working, but they're not exactly the most willing participants when it comes no. to <laughs> that's for sure. Life. Yes, that's for sure. Do you see like a lot of wildlife when you're kind of exploring yeah. those areas? Yeah, a lot of bears, deer. I've seen fox, well, eagles, ev pretty much everything. I haven't seen a wild wolf wolverine or a badger. I have not seen those. That's probably for the best. <laughs> yes, I think so too. <laughs> Even bears, I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I love bears. That's my favorite animal, so. Really? Yeah, yeah. So probably that'll be, if once you do start incorporating some animals, that'll be the first one? That, that'll be the first one. Nice. So moving on um, to um, your interests and influences, uh, like what are some like creators or social political issues or other kinds of media that um, inspire you or compel you to create your work? Uh, well, I grew up, my parents had a lot of Tom Thompson and the group of seven paintings in our house. So I think that was what inspired me from the start. I do love all their work. So that's what I would say would be my influence. Okay. And could you describe a little bit of Tom Thompson for, for me? Oh, sure. Tom Thompson, he did a lot of work in the um, uh, Northern Ontario area. And I guess I, it's probably known as more Muskoka area, maybe. I'm not quite sure of the area that he was in, but um, he did a lot of the... Um, pine trees that have been blown because they're on an island or in the in the very windy area so jack pine is what i'm thinking and the branches are all sort of blown off to one side and very rough uh, rough area and uh, he's done canoes on the shore and lake shores and trees and just almost anything you can think of when you think of the wilderness area. But he has a very unique style. You would recognize it. When you, as soon as you see a Tom Thompson painting, you recognize it, that it's him right away. I, I do anyway. So what do you hope visitors um, that view your work um, kind of like will take away from their experience and their interaction with it? Well, I would hope that visitors, when they view the, my paintings, would it would transport them into a, a place where they've either been and experienced or would like to be. I would like uh, viewers to say, oh, that looks like such and such, such, and such a place that I've been to. Um, you know, I'd like to get that painting because it reminds me of the wonderful time we had there or or a place that they spend a lot of time at. Oh, it looks like, you know, a familiar place. And if someone hasn't experienced that, then I would hope that they could look at it and say, wow, I'd love to be there. Or, or I can imagine myself sitting there or that sort of thing. Very nice. That's a really good description. I like that. So my final okay. question um, will be about how the pandemic um, has affected you both in general, but also in regards to your art making. And, oh, sorry. yeah. Oh, no, we'll start there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, I'm from a very close family. My two sisters and I were always close and we still are. And even my direct family, my husband and my daughters, we're all very close as well. So I hate being separated from everybody. And so I, because I found myself alone, I was able to get into more painting and, you know, it takes your mind off of what's going on in the world and the stress level is reduced when you're painting and it sort of takes you into another place and time and you don't have to, those worries that you would, you're not fretting about the pandemic that you would normally do. And I suppose that's a good thing. I hate that there's a pandemic, but on the good side of it, 
that's when yeah. I... Well, you got to find the silver linings. I mean, there's, you know, there's all, always going to be something going on and it's, you know, up to us to, to look, search for the positive and make Right. It. That's <laughs> the only good thing I'd say about it was I got to do more painting. I am doing more painting and getting away in my painting in my mind. <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you very much. Um, thank you so much for making time in your day to talk with me. Oh, and you're welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, Thanks for asking me. Thanks for including us in these videos. Absolutely. It's my, it's my pleasure, honestly. Um, so I guess just another reminder again, um, be sure to keep an eye out for Mona Maxfield's uh, full exhibition in the year 2021 alongside um, Ron Lintot. Um, it's going to be absolutely amazing and um, I can't wait to see you again there. I can't wait either. Thanks.